Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. This video is on uh, electrical circuits and we're going to be working through a basic series circuit. So here we have a simple series circuit. It has a battery with 30 volts, one resistor that's 10 ohms, and a second resistor that is 8 ohms. We have a negative side of the battery here on the short side, so it's negative on this side of this resistor and positive on the other side. Negative on this side of that resistor and positive on the other side. And our current flows from the negative to the positive. And you may have an instructor who shows you the current flowing the other way. It, in the end, it doesn't really matter as far as computing all the information in the circuit. Um, depending, when they, when they first started studying these things, they believed that the current went from positive to negative. So that's why, in some cases, you'll see instructors drawing it that way. So, the first step here is to find our total resistance. And in a series circuit, what we do is add up the resistance. So, and you can imagine this being like a river. We have this, it's one straight line here. If you think of it as a river or a canal, all the current is flowing through here. We have this resistance here. I always think of the resistance as being like rapids. It's trying to stop it. Here's a second piece. And so we add those two together, and that's the total amount of resistance that the current is facing. So R total equals R1 plus R2 in a series circuit. Okay? So that is 10 ohms plus 8 ohms which equals 18 ohms. So there's our total resistance, which is 18 ohms. Now we can find total current. So we can find IT, which is the current going through this entire circuit. And we're going to use E equals IR. So let's just solve it up here. E equals IR. We're solving for current, so we're going to divide by R on this side because we want current by itself. Divide by R here. These two R's cancel. And we're left with current <coughs> equals E over R. So I equals E over R. Now this is total current we're looking for we have total voltage, total resistance. The total voltage is 30 volts, and the total resistance is 18 ohms. So we do that division, 30 divided by 18, and we end up with 1.6666. So I'm going to say that's 1.67 amps, and that's our total current. Now, let's say we want to solve for the voltage drop across R1. Actually, let's just write this down. 1.67 amps. If we want the voltage drop across R1, we're going to use, again, Ohm's law. Voltage equals current times resistance. And sometimes voltage across a resistor is written as V1. That's the voltage across resistor 1. So that's IR, and that's the current through resistor 1. So the current, we know, the current through resistor 1 is 1.67 amps, because that's the total current. So it's 1.67 amps times R1, which is 10 ohms, and we end up with 16.7 volts for voltage 1. 16.7 volts. Let's move on to the next page. We're just going to transfer this information. 
<coughs> RT is 16 ohms, IT is 1.67 amps, and V1 is 16.7 volts. So now we're going to solve for the voltage drop. I'm just going to put in that my pluses and minuses here again. Now we're going to solve for the voltage drop across R2. So again, we have our current flowing through here. This is IT. We want the voltage drop here, so we were looking for V2, and we're going to use Ohm's law, which is IR. We're going to find the, have the current that's running through resistor 2 and resistor 2. The current running through it is our 1.5. 6, 7 amps, and the resistance is 8 ohms. So we take our 1.67 and multiply it by 8, and we get 13.33. 13.33 volts. Okay, so that's voltage 2. Now, we're going to solve for our uh, power across resistor 1. Power across resistor 1, and I'm going to use this formula, EI. So the voltage times the current. Now the voltage across resistor 1 is this one, 16.7 volts. And the current through resistor 1 is our I total, which is 1.67 amps. So we do that multiplication, 16.7 times 1.67 equals 27.889. So I'm going to go with 27.9. 27.9 27 and the units are watts. Now I'm going to solve for power 2. That's the power across this resistor and I'm going to use I squared R for this one. So current squared times the resistance. The current again that's running through this resistor is 1.67 amps. So 1.67 amps squared times this resistance which is 8 ohms. So we have 1.67 squared times 8 equals 22.3, let's go with 22.3 watts. 22.3 watts. So here we have for power 1, 27.9 watts. And for power 2, 22 0.3 watts. And if we add these two together, we'll have total power in the circuit. So plus 27.9 equals 50.2 50.2 watts. Now, a good thing to do when you're working through these is do a check. So we're going to do a check. Power total equals total voltage times total current. Again, power is voltage times current. So we're going to take total voltage times total current and we'll get total power. Total voltage is 30 volts. Total current is 1.67 amps. I'm going to multiply those two together. 30 times 1.67 equals 50.1. So 50.1 watts. Now the reason we have a little discrepancy here is because I didn't carry a lot of decimals as I went through it. If I'd have carried more decimals, my answer would be closer. This being out by one decimal place is, is not really too much to be concerned about. And your instructor will tell you how many decimal places he or she wants to see. And that sums up this entire question. You've solved all the pieces for this question. 
and that was brought to you by uh, Wise Guys. Have a good day.